Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna and today we're going to be reading Oliver to his first chapter. So let's get it started. Let's go. Okay. The book is made by it's um Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens has made Oliver Twist. Okay, let's get into it. chapter number one. The Workhouse. Oliver Twist is nine years old. He has got blonde hair and big set blue eyes. He is sad because he hasn't got a mom and he hasn't got a dad. Oliver is an orphan. He lives in a workhouse in a town near London and he hasn't got any fans. The workhouse is a bad place to live because it is very cold and dark. There are a lot of orphans in the workhouse and they don't receive a lot of food. All the orphans are sad and hungry. They have porridge every day for breakfast. That doesn't want to ask for more pouring porridge but the other children push him forward the hall is silent as oliver walks to the front he goes to the big table where the master of workhouse is having his dinner and quietly asks him for some more porridge please sir can you have some more asks oliver the master is very angry. He stops eating his chicken and potatoes and stands up. More? He shouts. No, you cannot. The master thinks that Oliver is a bad boy He, and he calls for Mr. Bumble. Mr. Bumble is a very important man. He is very angry and agrees with master Oliver Twist. You are a bad boy. He says he throws Oliver in a cold dark room and locks the door. Poor Oliver stays in the cold dark room for he is for many days. He is cold that he can't sleep and he is very hungry. The master doesn't give him porridge for breakfast, lunch and dinner. In fact, sometimes he doesn't give Oliver any porridge. Oliver is very tired and thin and he is very lonely because he hasn't got anyone to talk to. Oliver cries every day. After one week, Mr. Bumble goes to the workhouse. He goes to the cold dark room and unlocks the door. Oliver is sitting in the corner of the room. He is very white. Get up, shouts Mr. Bumble. Oliver stands up and runs to the door. You must leave the workhouse, says Mr. Bumble. Mr. Bumble wants Oliver to leave the workhouse immediately. So he speaks to Mr. Sowerberry. Mr. Sowerberry says, Mr. Bumble, here is five pounds. I want you to take Oliver to us to live with you. He can work in your shop. Mr. Sowerberry agrees, but not because he is a kind man. He wants Oliver to work very hard in his shop. Come with me, Oliver, he says. I have got a lot of work you to do for you to do. Mm, poor Oliver. He doesn't want to do live with Mr. Sowerberry, but he must leave the workhouse. He hasn't got any clothes or toys to take with him to Mr. Sowerberry's house. Page number 14. It is grey and rainy when he leaves the workhouse and the other orphans don't say goodbye to him. Mr. Swearberry lives with his wife, Mr. Swer Mrs. Swearberry. Mrs. Swearberry is fat and ugly and she has got a horrible mean face. She doesn't like Oliver. She is making a big dinner when he arrives. She's cooking beef and carrot, but he, she doesn't make any dinner for Oliver. There is no dinner for you, says Mr. Sirberry. You are a bad boy, so you can eat with the dog. The Sirberry dog is a black big dog. It eats all the food and so there is nothing for Oliver. Oliver is hungry and tired. He wants to go to sleep, but Mrs. Sowerberry doesn't give him a bed. We haven't got a bed for you, 
says Miss Survey. You must sleep on the floor. Oliver goes to sleep on the cold hard floor. He's very sad. The next day, Oliver meets Noah, Noah in the kitchen. Noah works in Mrs. Sur- Mr. Survey's shop. He's a big boy and he has got a horrible mean face too. He doesn't like Oliver and he says horrible, horrible things about Oliver's mother. Your mother didn't love you, he says to Oliver. Oliver didn't know his mother but he is sure she loved him. Oliver is angry. My mother did love me, he shouts. No. She didn't, shouts Noah. Stop it, be quiet, shouts Oliver. But Noah continues to say horrible things. Oliver becomes angrier and angrier. Suddenly, he hits Noah on the head and then Noah hits him on the nose. The two boys start a fight and they make a lot of noise. Miss so Mary hears the noise. She runs into the kitchen and sees Oliver and Noah fight on the floor. Stop fighting immediately, she shouts. Oliver and Noah stand up. Mrs. Sewer Perry doesn't like Oliver, but she, but she likes Noah. Come here, Noah. She says, are you okay? Noah runs to Mrs. Surberry. He tells her that he has got a heart attack because Oliver hit him on the head a lot of times. I don't know why. Oliver hit me so many times, my head hurts, says Noah. Mrs. Swearberry is furious. Page number 16. Oliver tells Mrs. Swearberry that Noah said horrible things about his mother, but she doesn't listen to him. He throws him in a dark, cold room. She closes the door, but she forgets to lock it. Oliver stays in the room for many hours. It is very late, and the house is silent. Mrs. and Mrs. Mrs. and Mr. Sirberry are asleep. Oliver doesn't know what to do. He didn't like the workshop, the workhouse. And he doesn't like Mr. and Mrs. Surberry and Noah. Then he has no idea. Then he has an idea. Sorry. He decides to run away. He slowly opens the door to the room and quietly walks to the kitchen. Then he opens the kitchen window and jumps out of the, out into the street. But he doesn't know where to go. He see the church and the bakers and the butchers in the town center. Then he sees a big road. He runs down the road away from the town and Mr. Surberry's shop and the workhouse. Okay guys, so chapter 1 is finished and please leave a like if you get to um, uh, for now, if you get to 70k likes, we will upload another chapter 2 of this so please like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye take care